A few days ago, I got a comment of Ramat Zaki saying, Hey, can you make tips and gouts on how to plan and build routes? Now, first of all, thank you for your comments. I really appreciate it. And I like to do these kinds of videos. I have a little bit of experience now with the game and I got my own view on how you can do road building without spending way too much time later on in the game, upgrading your roads. There are a few couple of things we're going to do into today's video. We're going to take a look at the different kind of roads. We're going to take a look at how wide you can make roads, keeping in mind that there are different road ornaments like street signs, street poles, uh, light poles, electrical poles, and all that kind of stuff. Then I will show you a tip which you can really use into single player unless you are in a multiplayer world that has very good rules and are extremely good at series role playing also i will show you my minds on different timelines on how i improve the minds as in the roading in order to drive the vehicle better and better around the corners and that sorts of things i have been preparing a few couple of things i had to spawn in a few items because i don't have that just yet here in my single player so first of all we have this vehicle right down here and for the vehicle as you can see it is two blocks wide with a little bit of space left now i believe that the, the diesel vehicle the last one you can get isn't much wider than this one down here so it will always be two blocks wide so what you want to do for sure is make a road always three wide because when you need to work on certain roads or certain areas you want to make sure that you can actually pass easily to your vehicle without having the struggle of going through plants and going up and down on certain pieces and you cannot really see where you're walking at so that is my recommendation always make roads at least three wide and also in the mines but i will show you this in the mines later on because it's going to be way more handier and if you don't do this you might be able to get stuck not being able to reach the back of your vehicle now there are three different road types we have dirt roads there is cobblestone roads and there is asphalt roads now the dirt roads is made with this tool right down here which is a stone road tool this later on you can make a modern type of version which should have a bigger health bar now the way how it works it only works on dirt so you cannot do this on sand you just stamp the road just like this and then you can make it three wide now you can imagine if you need to do a whole road like this it's going to take a plenty amount of time and i will show you later on what you should avoid for the upgrade of this dirt road now before i continue i just want to explain that i have been making a dirt road into the desert it is possible only in the desert it will slowly disappear over time this has something to do with realism because if you look in desert uh, maybe you've seen pictures of Dubai where you have like a road and the sand over time is getting blown onto the road covering the road with a new layer which is the sand makes the road go slow down again something like that now I had this road here in this tropical area forever and it's still there it doesn't disappear and of course on sand this is not dirt so that's why you cannot make this into a dirt road the second type of road that we're going to get is stone road now stone road is something that is going to be very handy later on as a sidewalk you just place it just like this now the only thing that i find a shame is that the stone road doesn't have the opportunity in order to press f like it says right down here and if I press F, it doesn't give me anything, which basically what I mean with this is when you have other types of building blocks and you press on F, you can actually select like a line or a floor line, which if you select the cube, should take care that you don't have to separately place each and every block once again. With the stone road, that is going to be the case. Maybe they will change that later on. And the last type of road is of course the asphalt. Now the asphalt does have the option of pressing F. Gives you a lot of opportunities. Now there is also a downside on all of these blocks. I will just show it to you in a second. But first of all, I would like to show you that you can actually place lines just like this. This will save you a lot of time doing it separately each and every block again. 
Now before I show you the different type of roads with, I will just uh, first show you the downside of having the asphalt roads. Now I got a little piece of road right down here and you might notice one thing onto this road and that is the little sideline stripe is not continuing onto the ramp part. Apparently this piece is still missing. So for the reason being is that on these flat blocks you have this one for the sideline which is just a block you can just rotate around if you press R of course just like that. Now for the ramps though there isn't such a thing just yet. You have the white ramp edge. The only problem with this is that it basically works the same as these pieces right down here. So what I mean with that is this piece is this one right down here. As you can see there is a little square and if I would take another one of these then it expands the square to the max on the outside. Which if you place it like so, which is this one right down here. You get this little side edge right down here, which you really don't want because this looks ugly. Um, long story short, they didn't add these parts yet where you can actually rotate a ramp piece or they didn't give you the opportunity to have like a left side line ramp or a right side line ramp. Long story short in this case is just take a normal ramp and just place it like that. Yes, it looks weird, but this is the only thing you can do. And I think I'd rather have it weird than it looks ugly. So now that I have shown you the three different types of roads and or something that is lesser fun with the asphalt, I would like to show you the different width of the roads, which I also mean you need to keep in mind later on in the game there will be street signs, street lights, uh, electrical poles, there will be uh, barriers, there will be guardrails and you don't want to build your roads too close up onto the buildings or else you're going to get a problem or better to say you might be disappointed that it's not really something you can change one, two, three. Now for the dirt road so far it all depends on how much work and effort you would like to put in. On a multiplayer you can imagine an Dirt road should at least be, I would say, four wide. Now you can see my road is pretty much a lot more than four wide. Now a vehicle is two wide, so when you got your dirt road four wide, that means that you can pass each other. And a dirt road is mostly something you see in areas where people don't come too much and or you know like jungle type of areas where there's not much traffic going on just a lonely road to somewhere you don't want to use like cobble road you want to keep it a little muddy and that type of deal then four white could do the trick now if you are alone in a single player or you would like to make a hidden road somewhere uh, that is away like an like an area far from civilization you can just make your road two or three white depending on what you like now beside dirt roads i also have some cobblestone roads right down here now for the cobblestone i'm mainly going to use this for the sidewalks but i have one road which is actually a farm road now you see a lot at farm road in in the western countries that you know it is something that you just have right down there. It is a road that doesn't get too much traffic, but it's also a road you don't want to have any asphalt on because it might be a little OP. And of course, it looks a lot more fun when not everything is just asphalt, that you have some roads in dirt and some roads in cobblestone. These cobblestone road fits perfectly into uh, lonely farm areas that doesn't have too much traffic. I got like a cobblestone roads right down here. It just fits in perfectly. And also, you can see I got a lot of sidewalks made out of this cobblestone. Now, there's also a little mistake I made with these uh, sidewalks uh, which I will just show to you in a second. Now if you're going to go for a one lane road you want to have these striped roads just like this and since the uh, vehicles are too wide you can either choose to have the roads between in before you get like to the middle stripes to have it like two or three. In this case it is like two before hitting the middle stripe i think this is just enough because like i said before this vehicle is almost too wide so it would just perfectly fit in you still have a lot of space uh right down here onto the road it will be tight but it's just enough 
Now, of course, this is a one lane road. Now, if you would like to go for more of a highway road, you will going to get two lanes on one side and two lanes on the other side, or it's like a highway or a motorway, um, whatever you like to call that in English. So you, then you have to keep in mind, you're going to need to have one for the side line. You want to have one clean block. You want to have one striped block, one clean block. And then also for the other side, you want to turn this around. This is like a two lanes road, uh, which you can also see this. This is going to be a very wide road because you're going to need to have another two lane road. But I would like to show you something that you could do between in to make it look more highway ish. I mean, in this case, we're going to use double street lights. So what I could say, what would be nice to do is you're just going to use clean blocks. And this is going to be for the other lane. So now we've got two lanes for going that way. And now we've got two lanes here for going that way. Makes it look more like a highway. Now you don't want to go too nuts. I mean, you can do like three lane highway. Um, if you want to go total nuts. I know here in the Netherlands, you have like six lane uh, or five or six on one side, five or six on the other side. It's just crazy. Um, this planet is a little bit too small for that, but I think having this for a highway is just nice enough. Now, the one thing that I want to show you is having double street lights. So here we have double street lights, and or you want to get a reinforced concrete piece. Now, this middle piece, you can make it even wider if you like to, which I will just show you in a second also. Um, but yeah, you can play it like this double street light like this, right? And then you can place like a piece of concrete, which you can make into a road barrier. It's sometimes you see that in, you know, on, on certain roads, you just cover up that you cannot go to the other side of the road, or they make use of like a guardrail, uh, which is just being used of corrugated steel. And then when you have the uh, corrugated steel in your hands, you're going to click on the road barrier, and then you can place it like that. And this is how you can close one side of the road off from the other side of the road. Now, if you want to go even more realistic with this middle piece, there is something you can do about that. Rather than having one piece between in, you need to make it two more wider. So in this case, this is how it looks like when it's two more wider. That means there are three um, blank pieces between in, as I like to call them. Then you can grab this street light just place it right there in the middle you can keep it blank at some spot if you like or you can make like a road barrier or a guardrail once again and you select this road barrier and then you can fix it like this this will give a 100 percent protection for these um, street lights or you can use like a guardrail it just depends on on the area you're in i've seen in countries they use or either one or the other or they use them both of them in different type of areas depending on i don't know the situation or the area and then you can have like a guardrail protecting the street lights like this now you can also choose to keep the between in part like dirt and let grass grow onto it this is also an option you also see that depending on which area and what they have chosen for and of course what you like to do do you like grass do you like asphalt now grass is of course a little bit cheaper than doing it with asphalt because asphalt you know takes a little bit of uh, resources now besides these street lights you also have to keep in mind there are different other type of road elements uh, it is a shame I don't have any dirt right down here. So I'm just going to, you know, use some more asphalt. And for this, I'm going to use a street sign because it, you can use like, um, like bigger signs and stuff like standing signs or whatever not. Uh, but I really like this one. Now the point is, this is one of the future reasons you need to keep in mind that you get roads ornaments to place at the side of the road. Of course, this one needs to one two three yes i think it is so on this way you can have like a uh you know a name on it like a like a a city you know a type of name or you can use like a large one or you can even make like a poles first and then go over the road like these uh these are very big signs up off the road you know showing off that there is something coming up and also what you also want to keep in mind is if you need to have electricity from one area to another area through these transmission poles 
and the transmission poles you don't want to you know uh, you, you can try to place everything on one line but then you have a chance somewhere onto the road that it will be in the way of the uh, street signs so then I would say just to be sure then just make um, the, the side for the road that you need to keep free from buildings anything else keep it on two near roads like this and then you always guarantee you have a spot to place something when need in the future this is only going to be way more important in the city because in the city you will have buildings and i will just show you in a second what i mean with that after that i will show you my single player tip which could also be added on a heavily role-playing multiplayer server and then i'm going to show you the mines so now that we're here in city area i can really show you what i mean with that i have made a mistake now because i was new with the game i didn't know what to keep in mind for the future i have been looking around trying to find out how wide should a road be for these vehicles but i didn't keep in mind about the sidewalks about the street lights about the uh, signs and that kind of stuff so as you can see i've been building my building pretty close up to the road now what i would recommend is to make a sidewalk of minimal too wide and maximum you can of course decide for yourself uh, but i would say minimal two um slash three and i will just show you within a second why i say also three now I can already show you why I say two. Now, having a small sidewalk like this is something you see in um, like the older type of cities where they have like very small roads and very small sidewalk, and it works. It is fine, and because you know they can decide where to place those um, traffic signs, whatever they like, right? And in this game, you are forced to place it right down in the middle. So my problem here is if I want to place like a, a street sign, I have to place the street sign in the middle of that small little sidewalk while in, you know, in real life, they would just place it somewhere, you know, between in maybe, or just at the side of the sidewalk rather than in the middle, something like that. And that is why I say keep in mind to make the sidewalk at least too wide, because then it really doesn't matter if you need to place like a sign on, um, you know, the middle of it, and then it would look good. And the point is, when I got these signs, I got a little bit, you know, disappointed with it because you know you also have electrical poles you have like street lights and on this way i'm not having any free space left for a nice sidewalk of course this is something in the future i'm going to keep in mind because minimal two slash three all right i got a small example here don't mind that there is no door for this house but this is just what i mean Having a sidewalk of two doesn't only feel a lot more realistic, but this also gives the opportunity to place a lot of these side elements onto the road without having too much problems with things being into the way of the sidewalk. So we can place like a, um, a stop sign right down here, just like so. And you can just pass easily without having the feeling that it's cramped up too much having street light like this and you can just still pass without too much problems and of course for the really needy needs you can also just place like these uh, electrical things right down here um you know but it gets cramped up a little bit more now to be honest i don't know if you need these electrical poles if you got like the street light that the street light kind of function like a a network too because that is how it works in real life. We got like a cable going underneath all of the street lights, um, passing the power. But let's pretend there are no street lights onto a road like this. It's like more of a um, like a Wild West type of deal. Then you can just place it like that, and you still have a lot of freedom. I want to show you right now why I also recommend minimal three in city type of areas. Now there are two reasons why you can have like a sideways three blocks wide first of all is you can make like tiny little parking spots for cars to park in the front of the building now you can choose either to keep it like cobblestone or you can decide to make it like asphalt the only reason why i would say asphalt is because you know it has like stripes and stuff on it uh, marking off that is actually a parking spot 
or you know cars i would rather use uh, these ones so then you can place it like that you make like a tiny little parking spot now i have already checked this out a vehicle um fits within one two three four five of these blocks now of course we can do a little bit more tighten it up and um, but i think it will still stick out just a little bit more and we already checked out the vehicle is too wide so let's just say two by five to be precise and just to be sure that it will fit in and then you can just park it in here now also uh, this block is too white and um, it takes off a little stripe but it will add up uh, double the amount of space from that stripe that takes it off right down here so when a vehicle is parked right down here you can easily pass with another vehicle right down here without problem and this is why it would be nice to make a sidewalk three white now the second thing is why you would like to have a sidewalk three white is you can place down trees so what you could do is say let's take out one of these blocks let's place in some dirt or uh, something else like uh, a pot maybe you have like plants growing out of it and you know you can see that a palm tree just like right down here could easily fit right down in here and you can have like beautiful palm trees into your sidewalks other trees plants or you can have like benches near on the side roads having those street sign street poles and uh, whatever you can think of so a nice wide sidewalk is really going to add a lot more to your game rather than the mistake i made at the beginning of this game by making a sidewalk one white what we are learning from zero to hero right very good so now that we covered up the different type of road different type of sizes of road what you can actually make from a motorway or a highway to uh, small farmland roads to different kind of sizes of sidewalks and why you need to keep things in mind i would like to give you a big tip that at first i didn't see it but later on it saved me so much time and um, digging out the old dirt road now i got a perfect example of what i mean is the difference between this road and that road it is very clear you can see that this road is actually going to go up and that the buildings past this part is all built onto the land rather than into the land like these buildings are digged into the land so what I realized at some point is when I was doing um, the roading, this road down here was first all dirt. And when I got into the cobblestone, I digged out a pathway. I got so much dirt from digging out, digging out, digging out. It took me so much time that I thought I need to do this a lot different. I need to be a little more smarter. And I have seen this at a few couple of Minecraft YouTube channels that what I do is they built it just onto the land rather than digging it in so when i was doing the cobblestone over there i thought you know what past this point let's just put the cobblestone onto the land and then also all of the buildings are going to be built onto the land so basically underneath this road is the old dirt road and this just saved me so much extra time digging out all of the dirt so that is my tip to you build on the land not in the land don't replace the old road but build onto the old road don't build the foundation of your buildings inside the land but build them onto the land now, i would just like to quick show you my mines this is one of my first mines and i noticed later on when i went from uh, carts to motorized vehicles that motorized vehicles of course are way bigger they are way faster and or i have a little bit of a problem cornering my first vehicle here it was like the powered car the, the tricycle with three wheels type of deal and when i go around the corner here i notice i was getting stuck and whatever not just because first problem is i made this ramp too close to the other ramp so when you go up your um, you know your vehicle kind of will get sometimes stuck the way how this is built so the first thing that i do recommend is before you're going to ramp down again make two blocks um straight and then go down i will just show you in another mine i got it perfectly uh as shown also this down here and this is not handy to go around the corner this quick because you know you're going to get stuck and you need to go forward backward forward backward 
and it's going to be really really annoying to keep doing this over and over again so this is my latest mine that i've been digging out trying to find some find some gold and you know because i get experience with the other mine you can see i'm going to pretty fast here and i can go really quick around the corner there are two reasons why so first of all you can see that i kept in mind that I made the corner right down here a lot thicker and or I cut the corner up right down here to make it a little bit more uh, round if you would rather than having a sharp corner. I just need to get my pickaxe out because then I can actually show you, you know, these parts I have been, um, you know, getting off from it and I made it a lot wider and this is so much better, it's getting less cringy. And even right down here, I made this corner like crazy. Um, you know, I can just drive real fast around this corner down here. And I never have to, you know, mess around with being stuck. Um, for my mines, I have made my mine road uh, four wide on purpose. Uh, just because I like to get in and out of the vehicle real quick and without, you know, being stuck between the wall and the car because if you make a road like three wide or well two wide especially but if you make it three wide and you're just too much to the right with your vehicle you're going to be stuck between the new vehicle and to the um, to the wall so that's why I make my roads all wide then at some point I decided that I needed an intersection down here yeah as you can see also when you get off from this part I cut it like the corner off right down here before you go around the corner and it just works way faster to get around the corner like this. Now this is my latest go around the corner part uh, as you can see from the, the, the first mine it is now like four uh, white and you know I cut it a piece off here, cut it a piece off here but I also saved myself a lot more time by not making these corners like uh, into like a perfect corner I just leave these stones right down here because they don't need to be cut away and um, also right down here is one two three four five rather than four uh, I got a reason for that um, and as you can see I could just easily go around the corner without you know too much problem now if you have a moment where you know you're digging stuff out digging 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 and you cannot turn around right down here I kept in mind that if I need to go drive backwards I don't have to drive backwards the whole mine to get out again first of all I got the intersection um, a little ahead but also this is the reason why I made this part 5 wide so you can just back it off to the wall and just you know turn around like this and this goes a lot faster and you can see a lot more way of driving now somewhere in the future i want to do a building series where i'm going to try to build as realistic as possible and i will take this video with me into the building series because i have needed to learn a lot about it and my city will even look more beautiful more realistic and that kind of stuff now i hope mr ramet zaki that i have kind of answered your question right down here if you or someone else still have a few couple of questions then let me know down below in the comment section and uh, enjoy your Saturday thanks for watching